Hey guys, Razor from Razor's Edge here. Today I'm actually going to do a tutorial to cover um, malware and potentially unwanted programs or often called pub. Um, you'll see these pop up, pup, P-U-P, um, or malicious soft, software in your antivirus uh, packages. Um, and I'm going to show you three web tools that are free. Um, to basically analyze these files, teach you a little, just a brief understanding of what they mean, um, and allow you to make better decisions before you click on a link that leads you to a particular file or a mod that says it's free, or you've installed a game where your antivirus has popped up that uh, a Trojan or other malicious piece of software has been installed. So hopefully this will help you out. And uh, we'll, with that, we'll, we'll dive right in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in uh, free games. And we'll see some pot, some sites that come up here. Typically the top that say add or they're promoted um, are usually some fairly common, uh, have common characteristics of, of carrying uh, hidden iframes or other uh, mechanisms for downloading uh, malicious content. Um, there's a few mod sites out there for games like Minecraft um, that install, uh, without your knowledge, um, other applications which are ad trackers. Um, they'll they could be key loggers. Um, they actually track your browser cookies and your your browsing content. To the sites you're going back and they report that information to other sites so this is the we'll, we'll take the first one here and let's just highlight it and instead of clicking on it we're just going to right click and we're actually going to um actually this one won't let me so we'll just copy and paste it And the first one I want to show you is a program called Virus Total. Now, this one you can actually upload a file or you can uh, input a URL. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop a URL in and we're going to scan it. And that basically shows you several different um, uh, site content. Um, uh, reporting tools, um, uh, Bit Defender, Cybercrime, ESET, the Fortinet. These are Kaspersky. These these are all antivirus engines and um, are reporting engines based on their software. Um, the second piece of it is if you find a piece of software. So this site right now looks clean. Um, but we're going to download one of the games off of it and we'll see what, what results we get. So before we do that, the second site we're going to actually do is a, we're going to do a, a query of that URL. So what we're looking for in this case is information about that domain. So we'll click low, we'll put the URL in there. We'll, we'll click go. It's going to run a queued here um and process that and it's going to give us some information about that site and we'll pause here while it's waiting so with url query it basically acts like a browser crawler um, what it's going to do it's going to give you a preview of the page up here in the top hand corner it's going to report the ip the autonomous system number a lot of this won't mean a whole lot to you, but what it's going to show you is what other sites are hosted within this ASN, their reputation. It's going to show you how many JavaScripts get executed, um, and it's going to show you all that information down here. So all this is going to be fed down to your computer, 
and it will what the software does is it actually looks for flags and I'm still scrolling down so quite a bit of content gets fed down as part of this page now I can also get a page preview of what that page looks like when all these calls are made so free games actually makes a call to Google Analytics probably for tracking um, hits to the site um, and a couple other sites that I'm not really familiar with so we'll take a look and we can drill down into that as well you can actually query these sites further down if you're interested um, what I can do is I can actually get a free a preview of what gets pulled up when you click on that site so this is a, a browser built into the engine that shows you just exactly what's at that URL before you click on it um, so this site so for, I mean from what I what I can tell right here is this site in itself is is harmless um, so having said that let's find one that's malicious um, so the second one at URL I ran was cutearcade.com that was reported a while ago as a children's game site which was um, being used to spread malware um, it has since been parked and the same IP address is now hosting another site which is freetoday.com so when you click on that link you get a redirect and I notice right away I get two phishing um, uh, alerts from Fortinet's web filter so they're being blocked Fortinet's blocking them and if you click through the transaction you can actually go down here and see that the content was blocked um, for executables um, both of these um, being uh, looks like a gzip encoded uh, URL um, so that site in itself if you'd browse to it um, you, your computer would immediately have two applications installed on it um, and you would instantly have your browser compromised and it could be um, sending out information through all of these different collection sites these back-end sites um, is what it found so that's the first thing I want to show you with URL query. We'll go back to Virus Total now. I want to actually take a game. Let's take, for instance, you saw a game. Uh, it's built on Unity. Um, some of the libraries for C Sharp um, actually are flagged malicious. Um, and you'll get a file that gets quarantined by, say, Semantic. So let me show you how you can actually take that file and upload that file and get more information about it so this is virus total basically this is a, a URL tracker as well but it also uploads files so if you download a, uh, let's say you've popped a particular file or it's showing a library within a game that has a malicious file this is where you'd actually upload it and you just click on the upload we're gonna go to desktop and we're actually going to put that C Sharp DLL assembly file in there and it's going to process that and it's going to run it through several different antivirus engines and it's going to give us an analysis report so we'll come back when it's finished so for a while Komodo was actually reporting that this was a malicious file and since then it seems like that they have actually marked this as clean it's a common antivirus free antivirus that a lot of people run um, AVG you'll recognize some of these Avast um, these are all the engines so basically they run heuristic activity through these and you can go through and you can click on the de the details it actually shows you the tags that it's a PE D D DLL it's the reason they were flagging it is because the the signature it was not signed um, a lot of times when a file is not signed by a particular um, vendor um, it's um, automatically if it's an aggressive antivirus it flags it um, as as malicious so since then this file has been cleared up by all these detection engines um, so this one did not flag hostile so this this actually works with zip files as well so if you have a zip file 
Um, we're going to go grab one. We're actually going to throw it in here. Um, before I do that, though, I want to show you malware. So malware is a sandbox utility. You can actually submit um, the same information. You can take the you can take a zip file. You can take a DLL and you can actually analyze that. It actually does ask you to do a little math to make sure you're a human and not a robot so that you don't overflow the server with samples. So um, let's uh, take a look at this. So we'll go ahead and put the answer to the question in there and we'll go ahead and analyze this file. And it takes some time to process because it's actually sandboxing um, through here. Um, it's actually as you can see, it will sandbox this, um, detonate it. It does zip files, compressed files, PDFs, all types of formats, JavaScripts, um, jar files, um, which are common with games like Minecraft. Um, and then eventually this is going to give us a full report on what it found within that. So let's wait for that to finish. Okay, once it's finished, you'll get a good news that it analyz analyzation has been complete. The analysis. We can click on there, we can go through, and we can actually see some screenshots in a desktop. So basically what this does is it runs the code inside of a, um, a sandbox of a particular, I think they use Windows 7 in this, um, uh, yeah, and you can see the screenshots and then when it ran or executed the, the file, it came up with a pop-up box. And since it's a DLL, you're not going to see anything. But if it were some type of a game, you would see the actual installation. Um, so that's nice to be able to see what it's going to do on the screen of your computer. On the back end, it's actually going to show you a lot more information under statistics and strings. Um, these are the actual strings that were inside the file. Um, these are for way more advanced uh, malware analysis. Um, and it's also going to give you a report from the various um, antivirus providers, um, as VirusTotal did, on whether it was clean. And you'll see it'll actually put numbers in here um, and any comments that were left by other people that have scanned the same file. Network analysis basically looks for what's called command and control or callbacks, um, which are typical for any type of adware or malware that gets installed into your system and starts talking to an external service unbeknownst to you. So, and then it'll actually go through and you can see all the processes that it created, the mutexes that it made to the system itself. So quite a few changes, um, failed here. Um, but I'm um, overall, this is harmless. Um, so let's go find a malicious file and we'll upload the same one and we'll see what kind of a report we get then. Okay, I now have a piece of malware. This is actually from a book called Practical Malware Analysis. It was a book um, I actually used uh, starting my career as a malware uh, reverse engineer. Um, but a lot of these sites have now flagged it as training material. But there's still a few out there that will flag the Trojan piece of it because it does modify the system. So we'll go ahead and upload that. And as you can see, it did pop a Trojan on nano antivirus um it is malicious um it uh does have malicious uh content within the zip file itself um and we can do the same thing on the sandbox so let's select a file the same file and we can actually watch what it did to a machine um let me find it uh Put math in there. And let's wait for that to be analyzed and we'll be right back. 
So again, on the na analysis, since this is a well-known file, the book was written probably six or seven years ago. Um, you can see that the zip file, 7-zip, if you didn't know, that's just a form of a zip. It's another zipping tool. Um, when they opened the zip, it actually, so here's the desktop, um, opened up a command shell automatically without the user even executing anything and went into the user's document folder. Um, you can see that um, here is the path, the registry keys that it actually signed and changed. And if you click on the behavioral analysis, you can see that it in fact copied the user's documents um, in the document folder. If you scroll down here and created a temp file, attempted to modify some of the control sets in the registry. So in the uh, report, it does a similar, it actually shows the PID, um, it changed the command.exe uh, kernel, um, and you can also go under the uh, network analysis, oops, I wanted to do that, it actually pulls information from uh, virus total as well, uh, giving you some information under antivirus and this the same antivirus is is copying it so unfortunately working with live viruses or finding new viruses uh intentionally is uh usually the most difficult it's the unintentional just know that these tools can process this in any jar file zip file seven zip um this uh, particular software here on this site um will actually open the file for you and execute it before you attempt to open or add a mod, um, a jar file into, to your program, you know, into your, uh, computer. So I'll link the three sites that I've used here. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line or a comment. I'll be happy to help you out. Um, if I've missed any steps or didn't make this clear. So hopefully this helps you out, keeps your computer a little bit clean, gives you a better idea before you just go opening a link or uh, clicking on a URL uh, to another site uh, that you're unaware of. Um, th this, this hopefully will help you out. Um, and stay off Pinterest. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, you guys have a great day. This is Razor from Razor's Edge. And as always, until next time, I'll see you when I see you.